Uh, thank you very much, Ambassador. I'm here with Ambassador Nicholas Kay, the Special Representative to NATO uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, we are here, we've, uh, we've had gathered together in NATO and uh, Afghanistan. What do you think uh, the discussion will be on Afghanistan? I think uh, for Afghanistan, NATO is very clear. Uh, the defence ministers of NATO met last month and they renewed NATO's commitment to training, advising and assisting the Afghan forces. Uh, NATO's willingness to be a partner with Afghanistan is strong and it's clear. Uh, we support the peace process, but we, in the meantime, support strong Afghan security forces. Ambassador, do you think that there will be any strategic changes tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, I think the, the summit will celebrate 70 years of the longest and most successful defense alliance in history. Uh, that alliance is allowing Afghans today to enjoy more freedom and more rights than they have done for a long time. And uh, I'm so sorry, Ambassador, do you think uh, uh, NATO managed to achieve something that they, they went to Afghanistan what they want in the last 18 years? Yes, NATO went to Afghanistan to ensure Afghanistan's territory is not used as a safe haven for international terrorists. That was the mission, and the mission is being successful now. Uh, but we also are there to help Afghans enjoy security in the long term. And security in the long term depends upon respect for human rights, government, and democracy. You said that uh, NATO went to eliminate uh, terrorism. Do you think that NATO managed to achieve that? Actually? Uh, terrorism is not eliminated from Afghanistan. There is good progress being made. Last week we saw surrender of a very large number of Daesh in Nangarhar. That's good progress, but it's not the end of Daesh. And also the Taliban continuing to wage war against the Afghan people, continuing to bomb and to maim and kill innocent Afghans. We want to see an end to that. The Taliban to come to the table and negotiate a political settlement with fellow Afghans. You mentioned about the Taliban. How successful do you think uh, the talks with the Taliban has been so far? I think the Taliban have shown they understand they will not win on the battlefield and therefore they must negotiate. The Taliban are very keen to resume the US Taliban talks in, in Doha. NATO has supported the US efforts in, uh, in Doha and we would welcome an early resumption of, of those talks. But those talks are only a means to get to a direct dialogue between the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban. Yeah, but so far we have only seen Ambassador Khalil Zad having interaction with the Taliban. We haven't really seen the Afghan government having any interaction. And Afghans were always talking about Afghan-led and Afghan-owned uh, uh, peace process. When do you think that we will actually really be approaching that moment? You're absolutely right. The real peace process will start when the government of Afghanistan and the wider Afghan society are sat at the table with the Taliban. That will be the real peace process. The US Taliban talks are a way to get to that stage. And what about the ceasefire? Ceasefire? We would love a ceasefire today. We would have loved a ceasefire yesterday. The Taliban are the people who are insisting on using violence. And we do call on the Taliban to stop their violence, to stop killing other Afghans. And elections, I mean, we have been waiting for the last two months now for the election results. Do you think that uh, we should be really, you know, shouldn't be really waiting for that long to have our elections results coming? What is really stopping? Uh, two and a half months after the, the voting day, it is, I think, very soon we need to see Now, the Independent Election Commission is following its rules and procedures, it's checking, rechecking, counting, recounting, auditing the whole process. They have found some irregularities and they need to be addressed so that Afghans are sure when the result is announced 
only the valid votes have been counted. And I hope that will be very soon. I hope when the announcement is made, that all Afghans will accept the decision of the Thank you very much.